Today, I'm going to show you how to make a mold of an STL with Blender. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Kevin with InventsMark, and today I'm going to be showing how to create a mold from an object. And to do that, I just made this quick little metal ball guy. And the first thing I want to do is create a cube. Normally you want to have that centered though. Just the center. So the cursor, size it up. In the wireframe mode, it makes it easier. You turn the screencast keys on. It usually helps, doesn't it? <laughs> and size it up to a little bit bigger than the object. And so we basically have the object in a cube. And what you want to do is do a boolean under the modifiers tab here. Difference. Select the object that you want to create the difference with. Hit apply. And then we can now delete the little guy. We don't need him anymore. We have a negative mold of the guy. And something you can do to create little markings to make sure the map mold matches together. Just create a couple of spheres. Be icosphere or UV sphere, it doesn't matter which it is. And go in the front view, just kind of size them somewhat decent sized. Join those together. We'll use those later. And then the next thing we want to do is create another cube. I'll size it bigger than the object. I want to go halfway between it. Doesn't have to be halfway, but halfway works the best. And it doesn't even have to be centered to square on it, it just has to be halfway between the model. So what we're going to do is duplicate this model, Shift D. So we have two different copies of this right here. And then what we want to do is add modifier, do another boolean, do a difference with the cube. That's the cube there hit apply and we select the other one boolean we want to do intersect with cube is that the right one nope cube one there we go hit apply you can delete that big cube now we don't need it so now we have two halves of the mold next thing we want to do is select Either one, doesn't matter. Union. That's sphere one. So you want to do another boolean on this. Union, sphere one. Hit apply. And just to make the mold match up better, I'm going to put this on individual origins. Go into edit mode. Size it down slightly. And when you go into edit mode, you want to make sure the everything is selected by pressing A and then size it down. Go to the other half of the mold, do another boolean. Oh wait, did we do a union with this one? <laughs> yeah, we did. So we need to actually increase that a little bit bigger. Let me zoom in. Just make it slightly bigger. That way we know the marks match up a little bit better. So we want difference. That's sphere one. Apply. So now we have a mold with positioning marks on it, and we have the other half of the mold. With other positioning marks. And I'm going to move those back together, undo it. 
and with a mold, anything you want to do with a mold, you probably need to have a spout to pour in something. So I don't know if you want to pour it in from the top or the side. For this type of model, it would probably be best to rotate everything on its side. And if you want to do it from the top, you can actually just use a cone. Make sure there's enough going into it. Make sure it's in the right spot. Go on top of here. Boolean. Difference. Cone. Apply. So now we have a pour spot to pour in whatever molding material we're going to use. And it will mold into that and that's pretty much all you really need to do to make a mold and blender out of an STL. You just have to make sure that the STL is manifold and when you're looking at the model you got to make sure kind of how you want to orient it too. This is just a really simple flat man object kind of thing. Or like a little figurine or something. But anyway, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.